Today, I'm very happy to welcome Felix Marinda Donate here to tell us about a Code E summer program uh, that's taking place at College of the Desert. Felix, thanks for being here. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Uh, well, first of all, tell me a little bit about your background. You're teaching at College of the Desert, that is, uh, throughout the school year, but this summer program is a little different. Yeah, um, I've been at College of the Desert since uh, 2006, where I started as a full-time mathematics professor and eventually worked my way over to the Computer Information Systems program. It's, uh, we designed it to be an IT and cybersecurity program. Which is and enormous because there's such a need for that these days. I mean, we're always, we get constant emails here at work reminding us how not to be hacked. Yeah. It's, it's really important. The cybersecurity is a huge issue. It's, uh, the, the industry, they're expected to be 600,000 openings uh, within the next couple of years that are going to go unfulfilled. So um, colleges are scrambling to get uh, students interested and the right degree and the right certifications to get those jobs. Um, it's, uh, there's a huge need, so when, when I took over CIS in uh, 2015, 2016, um, I sat back and I started looking and reading and seeing what the data was telling me, and, and it was cybersecurity all over the place. And San Bernardino had a good cybersecurity school, so we partnered up with them to do uh, transfer degrees, and we also do local degrees, we do certifications. To get, the, to get the kids ready, to get everyone ready. And the program that you're doing this summer, you have uh, two sessions, mm -hmm. and one involves some younger kids, middle aged, so it's important to start young. Yeah. Um, if the traditional way to um, recruiting students for your program is to wait for high school students to come and when they're seniors already. And many of them have already made up their minds about what they want to study, because they got high school academies. And, and cybersecurity is so new that they're, they're not really thinking about that as a career. So when they come to us, it's a little too late. When they come to the college, it's a little, a little too late. So um, it will take them longer to, to get the interest and, and certifications and all that stuff. So with the code program, our intent was uh, kind of like a grassroots um, way of promoting the program mm -hmm. rather than just sitting back and waiting, but going out to the community and working with students and having them see what kind of opportunities there are in, in cybersecurity and programming and all kinds of stuff. We do, we've, we've been doing this since 2017. Uh, we took a break during COVID because, you know, COVID. Uh, yes. Uh, but we started it last semester, or last year, sorry, last summer as on the road instead of just having COD. And in Indio, at Palm Desert in Indio, having students come to us, we actually now go out to the community. And we do activities with them just to show them what there is, show them, talk to them about college, talk to them about scholarships and what a degree is, what a major is, the kind of jobs there are. And so they can see themselves, not just uh, as a college student, but uh, as a successful mm, employee. employee. You got two sessions, one for the younger kids, one for the older kids. Yeah, the, the standard session, uh, we have, we, we're going to have six sessions throughout the summer, uh, different locations, Palm Springs, Desert Hot Springs, Coachella, and Palm Desert. And there's going to be three standard sessions and three advanced sessions. So the standard sessions are for the middle school kids that are, uh, to keep them safe online is obviously one of the goals, but also to be teaching them and showing them what is cybersecurity. Yeah, opening their eyes to the possibilities. Yeah, exactly. And then the advanced one is more for students that are already in a pathway, the uh, IT pathway or a cybersecurity pathway. Because there, there are several different schools, especially in Desert Hot Springs, or sorry, um, Desert Sands Unified and Coachella Valley Unified that have uh, tracks that feed into College of the Desert and then um, up to the workforce or transfer. Um, and also for adults. Any adult that wants to learn more about cybersecurity as, uh, for a job, a future job or something, they're welcome to attend. Let me put up the information. I want you guys to check this out because it's really important stuff. You can go to collegeofthedesert.edu slash code. You can find out all about the uh, uh, information that's going to be going on in those six different sessions. And if you're an adult who's interested, remember that you can sign up as well. But this is great for the kids. Keep them busy throughout the summer and keep their brains occupied and going. And it's free. And it's free. Yeah, absolutely free. That's the most free. important thing we let. We buried yeah. the lead. It's free. So get out there and enjoy that and, and keep learning throughout the summer. Felix, thank you so much. Well, thanks, Patrick. Real pleasure.